Oh yeah, I'm excited about this one. You're probably wondering, what did I buy now? I just want to up my game. Inside this box is the latest Flywoo GoPro 12 naked action camera. I bought this with my own money and I'm just excited about FPV products. I want to show you guys what's in the box. Nice piece of foam, sticker, customer service, and we got the wipes again. Clean your hands before you touch the GoPro. Whoa, what's this? A GoPro mount. Well, I did I did not expect this. And we have a balanced power plug. And looks like we have like a few types of adapters and screws. We have a bunch of plugs. And you got a little tiny screwdriver. And what is this thing? Oh, okay. This is the firmware update thingy majigger. Yeah, how do you use this thing? Oh, we'll take a look at that later. And let's take a look at this. Wow, okay, well, it's definitely heavier than the old one. You could already feel it. So I have the previous model and that one's made of plastic. So this new model is made of aluminum and look, wow, this is beautiful. I think I'm just gonna keep these plastics on there. I'm not even gonna take it off. Uh, all right, all right, I'll, I'll take it off. Man, look at that machining. Look at that 12 Pro. So the kit comes with three different ways to mount your GP12. This TPU print right here can slide right on and it comes with these fingers. It's like the most common type where you can just like stick it into a mount such as this. You kind of just push it in there and then take your M5 screw and push that through and and just like screw her down, right? Or if you don't want to use this and just have less weight, then you can just use the metal version of it. And this also can slide right into something like this, put in your M5 screw and tighten it down. And I, I think I would prefer this method. This is like, maybe you just wanted to have a little bit more protection. But for me, this is probably the way to go because I'm looking for the least weight possible. And there's a third mount here. You see this smaller one does not work for a mount like this. This is usually used on our sub 250G drones. So you can see my Cinerase, sorry, it's busted had an accident the other day. But anyway, it would work for something like this. This one's a little too tight. I'm sure maybe they revised it, but it would basically slam into there and you would put an M2 screw with an M2 nut instead. I'm not gonna use this. I'm more interested in this kind of adapter. The kit comes with a bunch of these power cables. Two of them are open-ended. So these ones are perfect for just soldering directly to the positive and negative pad of your flight controller. It comes with these plugs and it has a little tab on it and it makes it harder to fly out in an accident but once you plug it in and then you plug in your lipo then you'll notice there'll be power to this directly from the flight controller so that's the way i would do it and if you want to this came with the kit as well this allows you to power your your naked gopro with the balance plug from your lipo so the kit comes with two of these as well it has two ports on each side the one with the two pin will click into here and then the other end goes into your GoPro. So like the lines face up and you can see these have notches. So you just plug it in like that. Plug in there and then I'll plug it into the back here. Here you see the light turn on. I don't like using this because it adds weight and it's easy to break in an accident. But you know, if you're in a jam or something, you can totally use this. Like maybe you want to use on a quad that you just don't have time to solder it for now. And to remove it, yeah, you just have to unclip the tab here. You just like press it like that and just pull it out. And let's say you definitely don't want to use this. Like maybe you have four quads that you want to use naked GoPros and you're comfortable with soldering. The side where there's two pins, just cut them off. Just snip it off and take the other one, snip it off, and then you can use this on four different quads. This is the finger mount that I'm going to be mainly using and you can see the case has different mounting points. I'll probably just do it like this. And you can you can mount it with the screws and do vertical. And lastly, we have this firmware updater, Flywoo's original Naked GoPro V1. To update the firmware, I think you had to take apart the case and all that, and it was a lot of trouble. So there's this magnet where you can just hook it on the back, which is really slick. So you would put the original GoPro battery in there, download the latest firmware update, place in an update folder, connect it and let it do its thing. You can see in the back here, there's a few warnings. Don't power it by USB. So this port is for your optional GoPro touchscreen only.
They also offer an ND filter kit that you can pop this off and put on the ND filter if you want to cut the sunlight some more or introduce cinematic blur to your videos. And like the old GoPro, it has this fan. Uh, before you take off, you'll hear it in the microphone, but as you fly, you won't hear the fan. And this helps just cool the GoPro so you could film at 5K at longer periods without overheating. Here's my trusty old GP10 that I've been using for more than a year now. You can see right away the dimensions of the new one are like, it's so much smaller than before. The V2 is so much more finished than the old one. Like you see like the old fan is just exposed and everything. Before to put in the touch screen, you had to push it into this hole and now they replaced it with the USB. They made this 3D printed mount and it was kind of like off-centered and like backwards, which is not ideal in my opinion but now it's like centered to the camera, which is perfect because it can get closer to the LiPo, to the center of the quad. This one was like a little bit too forward. It'll make the quad more front heavy. I don't know how they shrank it so much, but yeah, they did a really good job. One thing I like about the old one is I do like the plastic because I get in a lot of accidents in interiors. I think this doesn't really make marks on the wall, but if you crash with this, you could scratch your client's hardwood floor maybe, or like, really dent in the wall because this is like heavy duty aluminum right like you probably grind something up let's weigh up the configuration where you solder this onto your quad and you got your naked gopro v2 so it's about 54.7 g which is still pretty good it's just five grams lighter than an action 2 let's compare it with the old flywoo v1 gp10 it's a bit lighter 49.43 the aluminum is a little bit heavier, but again, much more durable and more efficient in cooling. It didn't fry, that's good. The fan's a lot quieter than before. All right, so I'm just gonna click power on. You probably have to press it harder. And you can see, oh, hello. My friend Kibby designed this lens cap so it fits right over. It also fits the other Flywoo GPs. So I'll add a link in the description where you can download the STL file so it just protects the glass. So the micro SD card I had the most success with was the SanDisk Extreme brand. So I highly recommend this. I've used other brands and it has similar specs, but some of them just stop recording right as you arm the quad. So I don't know if it's the disc issue or a formatting issue, but I had the most success with this. And definitely format your disc using the GoPro if you want less problems. So go ahead and screenshot this now. These are my newest settings for one take interior to exterior fly throughs using my GoPro 12. So this is the QR code for ISO 100 to 200 and I have another one for ISO 100 to 400 just in case you're working with a darker environment. Turn on your GP12 and put the code up to the lens to activate it. If successful it will beep and show a check mark on the screen. Only use these settings if you know how to use Real Steady, Video Edit, and Color Grade. If you don't, then some of these settings may actually work against you, so you will need to adjust it to your own personal style. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I have affiliate links in the description below. If you purchase from them, it helps me out a little bit so I can keep bringing this type of content to you guys. Thanks again for watching, and see you on the next one.